hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series in previous couple of videos we have completed create employee functionality and in next uh, couple of videos we will create end-to-end -end update employee functionality well in this video we create update employee component and we will configure route for update employee component and we create an update button correspond to each employee once we click on update button it should navigate to the update employee page let's head over to the visual studio code ide and let's create update employee component go to the integrated terminal make sure that you are in a root folder of our angular application that is angular hyphen front end and let's go ahead and let's type the command ng g for generate c for component and then followed by name of the component that is update hyphen employee hit enter once the command completes it created four files and updated app module right so if you go to the app folder within the app folder update employee folder is created and within the update employee four files are generated all right and angular cli will automatically add a newly created component to app module so we no need to explicitly add a newly created component to app module okay now once we created update employee component let's go ahead and let's configure a route for update employee component open app routing module and go to the routes array within the routes array create the object and we have path property and let's give a path as update employee and then slash colon id so we are going to update a particular employee right so this id represents the particular employee id okay and we basically pass this id to the rest api to get a particular employee from the rest api well after that we have a component property and here we specify the particular component name that is update employee component so whenever we hit this url in browser the corresponding component will get rendered so this is a very simple routing for update employee component now let's go ahead and let's add update button so we'll add update button corresponding to each employee so that whenever we click on update button we'll, we'll able to navigate to the update employee page let's open the employee list component template and here we have a table right and let's create actions column first actions under actions column we have a table right uh, we have a button let's create a button over here so inside a button we handle a click event so this is the syntax of angular to bind a click event to the button and then here we specify event handler in our case we have update employee event handler and then within a parenthesis we provide id we pass the id all right pretty simple followed by let's add a bootstrap css class like button button info and then give a name to the button like update now we'll define this event handler in uh, employee list component here so once we click on button it should navigate to the update employee page right so let's go ahead and let's define this event handler here and we are going to use a router to route this request to the update employee page for that let's go ahead and let's inject a router here private router and make sure that a router is imported from the package angular slash router okay now let's go ahead and let's use this router here this dot router dot navigate 
and update the employee uh, event handler uh, should have ID right so look at here this ID we have passed it in a button this is the ID right okay so to the navigate method we're going to pass a array of elements so first is the path path of the route that is update employee followed by id so update hyphen employee so this is the route that we have defined in app routing component right here so this is the syntax uh, you know to call update employee page using a router it's pretty simple now let's go ahead and let's uh, test this from the browser so look at here update button is uh, appear correspond to each employee and once we click on update button it is navigating to update employee page and look at here the route this is the route we have configured right so update hyphen employee slash 29 29 is id of particular employee and this is the update employee page now let's go back to the vs code id and let's design update employee page in previous one of the video we have created uh, you know create employee form right and i have explained you step by step how to design a create employee form and update employee form which uh, which looks similar to a create employee form so let me just copy the whole whole content of create employee component.html page and let's open update employee component.html and here i'm going to just paste it and let's go and let's change accordingly so let's change a page title from create employee to update employee well you can use a single component to perform create and update functionality but to keep it simple i am going to use separate update employee component to perform update employee functionality well so this is the input field to handle first name and this is the input field to handle last name and this is the input field to handle employee uh, e email id and this is the button let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and let's see how this page looks like yeah here we go update employee page once i click on update button it should navigate to the update employee page and this is how the update employee page looks like well create employee and update employee page both looks same and uh, yeah so you can use the same component to perform both the operations but to keep it simple i have created a separate update employee component to perform update employee functionality well in case of update we need to populate a particular employee data in the form so that user can able to update the employee right so basically we make a get employee by id rest api call and we pass this id to the rest api rest api basically uh, you know fetch the particular employee by id from the database and it will send that employee data employee data in a response and we populate that uh, response employee data in the update employee page well in next video we will make a get employee by id rest api call and we'll fetch a particular employee by id and then we populate that employee in the update employee page so that user can able to update that particular employee all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys in next video